happier than a dream coming true. Especially when that dream belongs to a dear friend like Attila. So let me be the first to welcome Attila the Bun Bakery to Corona. Worst grand opening ever. By using the three C's, crime, carnage, and crime. But thanks to Rapunzel, who helped make all this possible, I learned there's a fourth C, kindness. C isn't for kindness, but it's good enough for me. Hey, kids! Rapunzel? Montgomery? Hello, Newman. Hey, Feldspar! You simply gotta try one of these Bimberry Butternuts. They're out of this world! Oh, thanks, Uncle Monty. I certainly will. Oh, my goodness! Oh, help! Oh, my guy's a giant man! Man, these people must hate Hagrid. Fucking monsters. Rapunzel? No! Not bells! Milton hates bells! <laughs> Okay, Milton, please show us on the doll where the mean farmer touched you. The udders? You were being milked. That's normal. Milton's a guy. Not all guy goats lack udders, Billy. Don't be so heteronormative. You mean cis-normative. Listen, you. <gasps> oh, no. What happened? Excuse us, princess. An innocent, Rapunzel. Innocent! He's under arrest for vandalism. It, it's the captain's orders. Monty vandalized his own business because he knew Attila would take the blame. And he's scared because Attila's sweets are awesome. He said so himself. <gasps> Onus Procedendi! What? Uh, your majesty, I would like to cite Onus Procedendi. Wait, what is that? Shh, it's Latin. Smart people talk. Don't worry, she'll go slow. I've been reading all about Corona Law. You've been what? And by onus procedendi, Attila can be granted a 24-hour period to prove his innocence, provided that he has retained the sponsorship of a statesperson. And I'm pretty sure that being princess qualifies me as a statesperson. Well, she is correct, your majesty. Holy shit, Rapunzel just pulled fucking rank. Can anyone give him an alibi? I can. I can. Give I can. An alibi. Absolutely. I'm sorry. Can anyone give him an alibi without lying? You guys had one job. Blondie? What is it? The door shards. They're all over the sidewalk. Huh. Yeah. Attila really did some damage, huh? Cassandra, you dumbass. The door was broken from the inside. That's him. Right there. <gasps> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm a sucker for plum bagels. Miss Crowley, you told me you saw Attila the other night. That's not him? How should I know? Those boys all look the same. One of them's wearing a bucket on his head, you dumb old... What's a thing we call old ladies when we're mean? Crone? Witch? Hag? Your mom? You mean my mom specifically or the thing idiot 12 year olds say? You know what, never mind, they're both appropriate. Princess, we've been through this. I'm sorry, Captain, but we're making a huge mistake. I just want one more chance, please. Excuse me, the princess just gave you an order and those big sad puppy dog eyes. But then, the bell rang. <laughs> huh, Chekhov's goat. Everyone who was near the scene of the crime, check your boots. Captain? Do you guys just never take off your shoes? Like, ever? Let's give you the grand tour. I got new counters, new shelves, I even got a new door chime. Yeah, I see. Wait a minute. Door chime. Hey, everybody! Who wants a treat? Monty, have you learned nothing? Oh wait, you're a traditionalist. Learning things is for those uppity young princesses who are better than you. Fuck Monty. He's a snake. He's a python. I am owning that joke, and no, I won't show myself out. This is my channel. You leave. 